me a weapon. For what for? Are you threatening me now? Yeah, what are you got to me? For what for? Now are you threatening me, sir? You guys be happy. Good news is dead again. Remember that. See your face. Get your head up. Yeah, you might need a stitch or two. But the fact that you guys are smoking up and you got kids in the house doesn't impress me in the least. Can you tell me any descriptions of these guys? We've no, got cars in the area. I really can't. You can't give me any descriptions. I'll do whatever you want. I know, because you're going to cooperate. You got my keys? They've hit somebody, and they've all bailed out of the suspect vehicle. Some guy says that we heard the kids. You have no search warrant or nothing. You just produced this for me. This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. This guy in front of us here uh, passed us uh, on Kingsway at a good rate of speed, no headlights. He's trying to make a left turn and has stalled the car in the fast lane in the oncoming traffic. And as a result, has caused everybody to come to a sudden stop. And the first car in the line here has almost hit him. Can I bend here? It is stopping. Okay, you didn't. You weren't driving with your headlights on either. Sorry. Your headlights. No, when I start, I, I off the headlight. When, when you I, when you start it, you turn the headlights no, off. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, but when you start it at night and you drive it, you have to have your headlights on. You were driving down Kingsway with your headlights off. No, when I, I stop here. Yeah. Then I throw off the light. Okay. Because the yeah. battery is low. Yeah, but when you were coming up Kingsway, yeah. from down the road, down here, yeah. you didn't have your headlights on. No, it, I am on light. No, that's why I made a U-turn, came after you. Because you didn't have, is it your car? Yeah. Okay, do you have your driver's license and your registration on no, you? No, only I am learning. You're only, you only have a learner's permit? Yeah. So you don't have a driver's license? Yeah, this is my cousin's car. Here is your cousin here. works here? Yeah. Whose car is it? My cousin's brother. Okay, let's see your driver, what you have for a learner's permit. This is like... <clears throat> you realize you have to have a licensed driver with you when you're driving the car on a learner's permit? Sorry, sir, I, I'm new in here. You, how long have you been here? I am four, four months. You've only been in Canada for four months? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what is the last. But I am only drive here. Okay. Because Here, I just step back for a second for me. Sorry? This is beer. I'll take it from Okay, you can't have open liquor in your car either. Sorry? No, no open liquor. What's the problem anyway? Hi. Is it your car? Pardon me? No, no. Is it your car? No. Do you know him? Yes. Okay, how do you know him? He works for me. He works for you? Okay, for one thing, he doesn't have a driver's license. Okay. Second thing, he's driving down Kingsway with no lights on. And third, he's got open liquor in his car. So I think the guy he just finished one. work, man. He just finished work? Yeah, but so he finished because work. he finished work, you're saying that gives him a right to drive down Kingsway with no lights, open liquor, and no driver's license? I don't know what about the driver's license, but he just finished work about 10 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. You were very busy on night. So? It's impossible for a guy to be drinking. I didn't say? Uh, no. I didn't say he's been drinking. I said he's got open liquor Sir, in the car. I will take this one, one only. From, uh, Where did you take this from? Just a beer. Marley. So? That doesn't matter. It's just a beer. It's okay. just a beer? Does that make a difference? Is it alcohol? Yeah, it is alcohol. Okay. So does that make a difference? Would you let somebody leave your restaurant with open liquor so they could drive home? What is that, a beer? Yeah. Okay. You would let somebody leave your restaurant well, with I beer? I know what you guys say, so it's, 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 I mean, by the law, you're not supposed to drink when you drive, Exactly, right? and you can't have open liquor beside the driver. And you have so, to have a driver's license. And he almost caused an accident on Kingsway. 
Okay. Right, right here in front of your restaurant. I don't know. I don't want to get. Okay. Involved. I'm just saying to you. I'm just saying. I'm not trying. And I'm to saying I don't care if I'm he just finished working a minute ago. Or anything. You know what I mean? I'm okay. Trying to be smart. If he well, had a liquor, you know whatever. It's, that's bad. He shouldn't open a liquor. Maybe he doesn't know the law. Well, if he the, doesn't know the law, then he, he shouldn't should have a driver's the, license, exactly. should he? So that's, he had to write the same test that every other licensed driver yeah. in BC wrote. Sir, now then, now that I'm doing my job and I'm on traffic stop, I'm going to ask you to leave, okay? Anyway, let me explain the story. There is no story. The story is he's driving down Kingsway with no headlights, open liquor, and no driver's license. That's the end of the story. Why did he give you like okay. the car if he doesn't, if he doesn't have a driver's okay. license? Find me the registration, okay? No, it's a guy, the other guy who works for me. He I know, but the registration should be in the car. Yeah. Find yeah, me the... He doesn't know. Let me get the guy who is here. Okay, but he can look for it too while you go get him. I'm not going to stand here and discuss the whole point all night, that's all. Did you read the guy his rights? Now... Did you read the guy's rights? Now then, I'm asking you politely, sir, to go away. Yeah. I would take him away because he is going to be going with me. You're going to take me away? Yeah. You're going to feel sorry taking me away, man. Uh, you I've been told away. that before. You're gonna feel sorry before you take me away. Don't threaten me. You take me away. Who, for what for? Are you threatening me now? Yeah. Why you going for what for? Now are you threatening me, it's sir? Okay. It's okay. No. You said you're gonna take me away. Why? It's okay, bro. Because you're starting to cause a disturbance here on the scene. Taking the disturbance in the scene. Yeah. It must be like out in my mind. It's okay. Yeah. You play too rough, the guy. It's okay. Oh, I don't. It's okay. That's why you guys like get louder, like you deserve it. It's okay. Oh, I deserve it. You deserve it. Yes. It's okay, bro. Okay. It's okay. You, you do deserve it. it. What were you going to do? Put the camera on the other side, like well, you. I want to get, get No, I saw you with your hand on your fly. Well, you weren't going to pull down your zipper now, were you? Yes, I do. You know what I and don't That's understand. a pretty this stupid thing to do, there, isn't it? Takes a, takes a you want to do that on TV public. with all these people yeah, in your why restaurant? Not? Why not? Well, hey. Okay. Then you, you can go with rude, him. Man. You better call more police to like OCA. Okay. Then you can go with him. Because you're very rude. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Oh, that's fine. I don't think you know what you're talking about. I'm going to sue you. Can I have your card? Sure, there's my yeah, name right there. No, you card. No, you I'm not card. giving you a card. You can write down my name if you want. I will. I want to. I want to. Sure. I want to sue you. What are you doing? Here? Okay, that's fine. I own the restaurant too, by that's the fine. way. If you want to know. Yep. What is your name, sir? There it is. You're gonna hear from my lawyer. That's fine. What you doing right here? What's your number, sir? Uh, we don't go by numbers, but if you want, you can have this one. Four two one five six. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now you can go here. in. Now you can go inside. I don't have to go inside. It's my property. Okay. This is my. Property I don't want to see him pulling his fly down. This is my <clears throat> property. I can do anything I want. Jump in for a sec, partner. You can take him away. No. Maybe your boss. <laughs> Sorry about that. I mean, I gave him a key. You know? It's yeah. my fault too. I can most of the my fault. Oh, don't say you gave him the key, or otherwise you'll get a ticket. <laughs> But I'm telling the truth. I'm not lying, you know. I was stolen, uh, stolen car. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not stolen, yeah. No, no, it, I know it's not stolen. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. So the end result for the driver was he uh, got two notices, one for uh, driving without a valid driver's license, and the second for... Uh, driving with open liquor in the vehicle. To serve and protect, we'll be right back. You might need a stitch or so on your chin, eh? You fell down pretty good, huh? Put your bag down. Yeah, you can lean up against the car if you want. Yeah, you got a bunch of blood dripping off your leg there, too. Put your bag down there. Let's have a look at you. How much have you had to drink tonight? See your face. Put your head up. Yeah, you might need a stitch or two. Okay. You want to go to the hospital? Have it looked at? Oh. No? Okay, where are you going to? Home. Home? Okay. Do you have any identification with you? So you're just at the Linwood tonight? Drinking there? Yeah, okay. And how are you, what bus are you going to take home, do you know? You trying to get to East 18th Street? Yeah, all right. What you got in the bag there, Mark? Just clothes and stuff, or, or what? Mm, we'll, we'll do it if you want. No, I don't, I don't need to. Can't you just tell me? OK. How long? Go ahead. 
How long ago did you leave the uh, Linwood? Contact lens stuff. Okay, so it's just your personal clothes and stuff. That's fine. You don't want to go to the hospital. Okay. Um, you should have it looked at though, because it's you got a big stream of drip and blood there, eh? So you should go to the doctor, have it looked at. I'll give you a ride up there if you want. That'd be good. That'd be all right with you? Sure. Okay. We'll throw your bag into the back, okay? Can you just, you gotta empty out your pockets for me though, okay? Sure. Just empty your pockets out onto the trunk there. That's just uh, an officer safety thing, you understand. And, uh... We'll put your bag in the trunk. So you've been in the Linwood all night tonight? No, I've been all over on the boat. Okay. Were you with anybody tonight or just by yourself? I was with a couple of buddies. And they let you just wander away like that? Yeah. Or did you just fall recently? That nice. looks pretty new, eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's it. Okay, can you pull your pockets inside out? for me, please, just to uh, have a look, make sure. Thank you. All right. So what we have here is just a uh, intoxicated male, um, just sort of wandering around aimlessly. He wants to head back to, uh, um, up to East 18th, which is quite a few blocks away. It's a bit incoherent. He's got a big cut on his chin and on his knee. So uh, I convinced him to go up to Lionsgate Hospital and, uh, uh, have the doctor look at him, he might need a stitch or two, and, and then he'll probably be released from there, maybe get a ride home, something like that. That's it. What's he doing above? Is he in there? There's two guys sitting at the table, and that's... Is he coming up? They're not moving. Now they're moving. <clears throat> Manny, you Manny? No. Where's Manny? He's in bed sleeping. He's in bed. No, he isn't. He was just out the street running around, hollering and screaming, he's gonna kill someone. Yeah, really? You might come in and talk oh, to him? Shit. No. Why not? Because he's fing sleeping. Who's sitting at the table with you there? He's sitting at the table. Who's sitting at the table with you? Scotty. What's your name? Son. Hey, what's going on here? Hi, how you doing here? You guys doing my reserve? Oh, Chief Baker, you guys get up. Okay. Just like you white people, I'm doing a block of reserve. Hey, you guys want to move? Get out here. You look at herself. Are we going to fight? We're going to fight. We'll teach you, kill each other, we'll kill each other. You guys be happy. Good eating is dead eating. Remember that. Okay, well. That's what you guys love, right? Okay. heard that it was coming okay. from here, okay? Sir. Uh, all right. Okay. I want to fight those people I said I'm going to fight them. And I'm going to kill them. I'm going to fight them, damn right. No. Okay, you guys move. Okay. I don't want you to have my reserve. Get up. You guys are trespassing. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. There's a bunch of rats back there. There's a bunch of rats. So I'm going to kill them. Okay. Oh, okay, you guys get off my reserve. Okay. Get off my reserve, but I don't like well, those. There's C31s. The I hate C31s. We're going to fight those son of bitches. We're going to fight them. Okay, we'll I'll fight them by myself, okay? No, I don't want you people here. Okay, we'll just get outside, okay? okay? We'll deal with that, all right? Get out of here. I don't want right, you. We'll get out of here. <laughs> you guys are trespassing on any land. Don't stand like a goddamn totem pole. We'll be here. Go ahead out here, you son of bitches. It's very typical when we get called down to the reserve here. They uh, they want us here when things get out of hand or when things are a little dicey. But as soon as things aren't so dicey, they want us off their land. And uh, they start screaming and shouting that it's their land and we're trespassers and to get off their land. But as soon as the chips are down, we're the first ones they call. Just headed up to Lynn Valley, the off ramp from the highway, and uh, there's been a report of a flipped motor vehicle. 
and it's unknown as far as how many injuries there are right now. But uh, we're just going to go check that out to make sure everything's okay and just to assess uh, the injuries and to see if any alcohol is being involved. Yeah, what we had here is a um, um, Land Rover, uh, which was coming off the ramp in Lynn Valley, and uh, I guess it was going at a high rate of speed, and the uh, the high rate of speed, uh, and as well as uh, some alcohol involved, contributed in this vehicle topping over and and uh, going on the side. Uh, the driver was taken in by one of the other investigators and will be taken in to the, uh, to the office uh, for a uh, breathalyzer test. Uh, from what I understand, he speaks Korean, so we'll be uh, needing a translator uh, in order to do the, uh, the process. Um, you know, this is all that, uh, there's no other vehicle involved, nor do we have any other witnesses. So all we have is the, uh, the factual evidence uh, the vehicle and uh, we don't see any skid marks or anything. Also the weather road conditions are pretty slippery so that, that could have been a contributing factor as well. But alcohol is the foremost one. Yeah, put your hands behind your back, sir. Your hands behind your back. Both of them. From speaking with the witnesses, what they saw was the man staggering around the vehicle. They uh, also assisted in pulling him out of the vehicle um, and just sat with him. At the moment, he has been taken into custody and uh, will likely be uh, giving a breath test at our detachment. And the vehicle has been towed. This gentleman is certainly very fortunate tonight. He had a major accident and uh, walking away with some minor cuts and bruises. Uh, very, very fortunate. To serve and protect, we'll be right back. Right now we're uh, moving into an area uh, where there was just, there's just been a hit and run accident. Um, I think it's in New Westminster, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we've been assigned to a patrol a quadrant looking for uh, one of, uh, one or all of uh, four suspects who were involved in uh, this accident. Uh, they've hit somebody, I don't know who or exactly where, and they've all bailed out of the suspect vehicle. So we're just going to uh, patrol the neighborhood, and uh, hopefully they'll go to ground, and we're, bringing, we're going to bring a dog in and have the dog track the area, and uh, hopefully he'll be able to turn up one or all suspects. Hi. You got some blood there? In, in the back seat here would have been. Somebody in the back seat? Yeah, because this is the only one with broken glass. There's four guys in the car. Is it a stolen or? Well, it's, it's not on the system, and the 28s are down, but it's uh, Michael of North Van. Sorry about that, but I was on info. I can't see any blood. Okay, we got the uh, two at stride with the cut on the forehead, and we've got two at stride in Britain. So we got all four, and they'll be bringing them back. Thank you. Well, we've got an ambulance for the one with the cut on his head. So you think he was in the back? Yeah, there's broken glass on the back passenger side. All the rest of the windows are fine. That's the only place there's broken glass, and it's in all over the seat. OK, he'll be going to the hospital. We'll bring him. I think we got them all. All right. All of them? Yeah. Would the dog catch them, or did they all surrender all together? No, it was just patrol units in the area here. We just yeah, saturated the area. Was that so, right, eh? right Yeah. Up. Yeah, we, uh, one of the guys, uh, one of the units was checking a, a couple of guys that were heading up Kingsway uh, by stride, and one of the guys had a big gash in his forehead. And, uh, oh, really, eh? Yeah. Do you want us to check him out? Uh, well, they will be calling for an ambulance for that guy as well. Wants so. to bring him down here. We'll check him out here. Okay. Did you get that $20 bill? Yeah. That, I don't know if that, what the story is. the driver's door, so I would assume that it's the driver had it. So can you figure, do you know what happened here or what? These guys were... This car here was... Turning in. He was heading westbound, going to turn left. The Fiero was coming straight down through. 
he even the car was at a close, close proximity. He just gunned her, tried to turn in front of the car, and got smacked. Had to position then both vehicles. All right. Take a couple prints off the driver's side wouldn't mean no sense, I guess, but it, not now. Well, they're going to bring the guys. I think they're going to bring everybody by here and uh, see if we can get an admission of who was driving, so if that's going to help you. Oh, here's one of them. Here you go. Oh, that's our cut guy. We're going to have an ambulance crew take a look at you here, partner. Yeah. Sit down on my nice bumper here. The arrow is written in stride. What do you want? Good one. Where did you run into these guys? Uh, just up from the Burnaby Hotel. On stride. On stride? No, on uh, King's Way. What did they say when you approached him, Joe? He said he, uh, he said he was in a fight at the Burnaby Hotel. His name's Michael. Me, I'm sure you know. Oh, Michael. Is that who we that is? is yeah, he doesn't just, look anything like him. He just get out. On, uh, <laughs> he just get out from uh, the Alouette uh, Center. Oh yeah. Uh, for possession of a weapon. Did he say who was driving? He said he wasn't involved in anything. And I said, well, I said uh, either way, you're under arrest because his order, his on his release order, his parole order, he's not to uh, drink anything and he's drunk and parole. He's, uh, he's parole. He's on parole. probation. Parole. And He's not Sounds like a revoke to me. He's not. He's not to uh, drink, and he's not to frequent any place that sells alcohol. So he said he even even so he said he was at the Burnaby Hotel. So either way, you know, all right. I assisted in helping this guy, and I called oh. the police out here, and I told okay. him where the suspects had run off to. I had oh, okay. chased them. Did you did you see it happen? No, no, no. I didn't see it happen. Okay. I was just around the corner here, yeah. and I, I was just pulling my driveway, and I heard the bang, and I came around the corner, and just in time to see these guys just bail right out of the car, and I seen if this guy was all right or not. Did you see who was driving that other car? No, I didn't you get can't, a chance. You can't, they you can't all tell me who the driver so was, fast, eh? you know? They all bailed out so fast. All right. Yeah. Okay. But I just, you know. Okay, was, great. But you basically they, stopped they, they were turning left You here. basically stopped in to help the guy out. Oh, yeah, like a second after it had happened, you Okay. Know? And, but uh, you didn't see the impact, no. and you didn't see who was driving the other vehicle. Cool. Okay. Right. Yep, thanks for stopping. Okay. okay. What happened there was an accident on Canada Way uh, and 12th Avenue there, um, and it was a hit and run. There was a group of four males in a, an older vehicle uh, after uh, the collision. Uh, they left uh, the victim uh, in the other vehicle alone, didn't render any assistance, and basically bailed out and uh, fanned out into the neighborhood with uh, the assistance of New Westminster PD. Um, and uh, every unit of that was available in the area, we fanned out ourselves into what we call quadrants. And uh, we patrol our own quadrants, which are many parts of this, of the neighborhood. And as a result of those quadrant searches, uh, a couple of our units ended up uh, picking the uh, four suspects up. And uh, <clears throat> they're all in custody now, and the challenge will be to find out who was the driver. It was probably the registered owner who was with one of the four, he was one of the four guys. Um, and he'll, uh, he'll be ultimately responsible for the damage. To serve and protect, we'll be right back. Just received a call of uh, a delivery boy of some sort that was delivering in an area of a trailer park and went to one residence and smelt marijuana coming from the residence. He also noticed that there were kids in the residence, so we're going to attend, see if we can find any marijuana, make sure the kids are okay and that sort of thing. Good evening. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. What are you up to? Not much. No? Uh, we had a guy delivering flyers here, and uh, he was kind of concerned. I guess maybe one of your kids were crying or something like that. Are your kids OK? Yeah, they're in having a bath. You mind if I just come in and make sure they're OK? Uh, I guess so. What? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm smelling a little marijuana in here. You guys aren't uh, smoking any marijuana, are you? Uh. There's a definite odor of marijuana in this uh, residence. Yeah, but what's the problem? Why? Well, the problem is you're smoking marijuana. You've got kids in the house. The kids are in the bath. Yeah, well, marijuana alone is a problem. Where, where is it? Like, there's a couple ways we can deal with this. I tell you what, you guys are honest with me and fair with me. I'll be fair with you, okay? But the fact that you guys are smoking up and you've got kids in the house doesn't impress me in the least. 
all right? Mm -hmm. Why don't we get all the marijuana out and put it on the table, okay? How much have you guys been smoking up tonight? Hardly any. Is that it? Yeah, this. You know, some guy says that we heard the kids. You have no search warrant or nothing. You just produced this for me. Well, because you walked in. Right now, you're under arrest for possession of marijuana, okay? Do you have any ID on you? Yeah, like that. In your van? It's outside, I take it? Okay. What we're going to do as soon as I'm done talking to her is we're going to go outside uh -huh. and uh, we'll get your identification. Uh -huh. I'll give you a little piece of paper which commands you to appear in court. Uh -huh. And uh, if you indicate to me that you get no problems with going to court, then I don't imagine I have any more problems with you tonight. Okay, you come out here. Hi, sir. Hello. You live here? I'll just talk to you out here for a sec. Sure. How about you come on over here with me, okay? <clears throat> just stay over there by the police car, sir, okay? okay. Sorry from 24 Portable. Do you have an ETA on that other unit that's coming to assist me here? Bravo 2, your ETA. It's 2 9, and I'm at 96 in the Georgia Museum in a second. What I got here, there's a pile of drugs in the house that keeps adding up and adding up. And I just got too many parties here to keep an eye on while we're going through here. You can come on in here. Uh, I should be okay now. Jones and Hori are here. Come on in here, sir. Just have a seat. Okay, here's the scoop there, sir. You're kind of new to the situation. Smell of marijuana in the air, and uh, this gentleman here admits that he's got some marijuana. So he's been charged yeah. for that, okay? So then a little further investigating, and it, I happened to peek into your drawer there with full consent to do so. And uh, we got a stack of drugs in your drawer, and I haven't even finished looking in the drawer there. I've seen more, but I can only carry so much. That's all yours in the drawer, I take it, or uh, what? What happened here was a delivery boy smelled some marijuana in the house. A lot of times these don't result in anything. Uh, this time you can see it resulted in uh, quite a bit. I smelled marijuana when, uh, when I approached the residence and uh, walked in the house and asked them if they had any. And he produced this. The one male produced uh, not a huge amount of marijuana, but some marijuana. So we arrested him and uh, released him on an appearance notice. He's promised to appear in court, and I don't think there'll be any problems there. And he's going to appear tomorrow night for fingerprinting, as is his buddy, who happened to walk in in the middle of all this and still came in despite seeing my police car there. Uh, a lot of drugs and paraphernalia found in his drawer in the master bedroom, which his wife was kind enough to give us consent to search. I just think she wanted to skip the hassle of the warrant and so forth. So. Uh, we also got a syringe from the drawer. Never really found out what it's for, but they don't appear to be shooting up, uh, mainly snorting. There's also some pipes there for the marijuana. Uh, just tons of baggies in there, which indicate to us that it's uh, for, no doubt in our minds, for trafficking. I mean, you don't need all these baggies if you're using it yourself and you're keeping it in your drawer. Two little kids in there, so we phoned social services. Uh, which they weren't too impressed with, but they got to understand when they're doing uh, this kind of drugs, obviously dealing drugs from the residence and uh, doing cocaine in the residence, that uh, we aren't just going to close our eyes to that. This isn't a good environment for these kids. And uh, like I said to the gentleman in there, the kids appear to be fine right now. It's what they're learning. And no doubt by the time they're 16, if they stay in that kind of environment and the parents don't clean up their act, I'm going to be uh, chasing them around. Okay, we just uh, received a report that a male dressed in black is uh, climbing a fence of Corvette Specialties, which is one of the local businesses. It should be closed, and we're just going to be checking it out to see if uh, we can catch this guy in there and see what he's up to.
We've got a male, uh, a report of a male jumper on the middle of the uh, Tella Bridge. It looks like he's going to jump, so we're going to go uh, head down there. Three ones at Patel as well. We'll try to locate the, the suspect first and see what he's doing. If he's actually, he may just be walking along the bridge. If he's looking, if he's on the edge, we want to uh, keep the vehicles away and approach him slowly and just try to establish communication and see what uh, he wants and sometimes he has requests or whatever and we can uh, try to talk him out of it. Okay, they've uh, spotted the male down at the side of the bridge there. He doesn't seem to have too many problems with him. They're uh, just getting him over to the car right now. See what he's up to. I drive over this bridge every day, eh? and it's just a nice view, and I had it all the time, and this is incredible. <laughs> were you just uh, looking over the side, or what were you doing? Just looking, you know, just enjoying the view. I'm not from here, like I'm from Ontario, eh? Right? Okay. Now it's fascinating. It's a beautiful view of this time of night on this bridge. Okay, what I'll do? I'll give you a ride to the other side of the bridge. Oh, that's okay. I can just walk. No, I'll give you a ride to no, the other side of the bridge. Ride down so we get traffic here, okay. so nobody stops. Sure, okay. Okay. Right here. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Yeah, come on in the back here. Okay. Yeah. Come on over here. Hey. Yeah, just have a seat. Just have a seat inside. Okay, I'll just give you a ride to the other side of the bridge. This male says that uh, he's been uh, driving over this bridge for the last three, four years, and he decided today just to go for a walk and uh, take in the view. Uh, we didn't really get a report of him uh, hanging over the edge or anything like that. Uh, it just seemed that he'd stop, he was stopping and looking and gazing. A lot of times the jumpers will be uh, thinking of what they're going to do before they climb over. So a concerned citizen just phoned it in and we're just checking them out and we'll take them off the bridge, get traffic going again. In a situation like that, we're very happy that it isn't uh, a jumper and that all we have to do is uh, take him off the bridge and he'll be going home and everything's all right. Bravo 13, you copy well, that? Just got a call of a stabbing at the Patterson uh, platform. Uh, the sky train, we don't know what we have there and we haven't got an update yet, so we're just going to hustle down there. I don't know if there's any sky train or transit authority on site. Well, 14. We just got a sky stop. You said there's a fight at the 7-Eleven on Rumble and Royal Oak. Does anyone uh, clear? It doesn't sound like it's related. Copy that. Is Bravo 13 with you? <laughs> down to uh, Patterson sky train. Copy that, thanks. And 2-1, I got yours also. Apparently, it's, there's... Uh, Several here. 3 1, what's your ETA? Six, seven times. Were you a witness? No, we were just uh, on the train. And he were you came. by yourself when this happened? Yes, I was. What's your name? What's your name, bud? Yeah, all right. Al? Al? Alan? Alan? Yeah, Alan. Was there any suspects? How many guys was there? He got jumped. No, there, there was major suspects, but. How many guys was there? Three of them? Do you know these guys? No, you never seen them before? Yeah, he's been stabbed. Can you give us any descriptions? I just want to go get pictures. What's that? Ammons is on his way, sir. Just relax. How? how I hear you there, Spark. Okay, but can you tell me any descriptions of these guys? We've no, got cars I, near you. I really can't. You can't give me any descriptions? Okay, the I'm kidding. 
Local cars from 13. I have one male here with uh, multiple stab wounds. He's highly intoxicated. He indicates three assailants and will not provide a description or can't provide a description, so I've got nothing for you to go on and no direction of travel and no independent witnesses. 13 out. I reported him as I came in. Were you guys, were you the first here? Yeah, we came in on the train and we saw him bleed, so we jumped off and uh, we had him set down there and then he started going out, so we brought him down to the floor. He started going out? Yeah. Where was he bleeding from when you saw him? Um, we just saw, I saw the blood on his pants and I just looked down like, oh shit, so I got out. And... What's your name? Sean. You got, uh, Pete. I got nothing to go on and no direction to travel, but this guy got stabbed downstairs. He's so intoxicated he can't tell us anything. He made his way up the stairs here and collapsed on the thing. So all we got we got a bunch of blood downstairs to start from. That's all I got to go on. Well, I was just like a uh, just a hope because we're so close to the park. It thought it's the only thing I got to go on. Just, yeah, just a name, Alan. But I'm going to go to the hospital and get his full particulars once he's uh, kind of. Uh... You basically have a lone male being attacked by himself somewhere in the park. We've got nothing to go on because he won't give us a description of the suspects. He won't or he can't give us a description. He's highly intoxicated or maybe on some kind of stimulants. So he's going down to the hospital with at least one stab wound. We're going to go to the hospital now to try to do an interview as soon as they can ensure that he's stabilized and uh, see if we can get some additional information to see about what happened down here. We're just heading down to Keith Road at Queensbury. Report of a vehicle has just crashed into a pole, so no mention of injuries yet. The vehicle you're looking for is a Volkswagen GTI green in color. It hit a pole. Apparently, he has somewhat backed out of the pole. Oh my god. Okay, listen, listen. Put your hands behind your back. Oh my god, please. Just put your hands please. behind your Take back. Take my wallet. Take my wallet. Okay. I did not do that. I, I'm drunk, okay? I'm Are you drunk? Up. Yeah, of course. I, 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 didn't, your ca I your didn't cause any problems. Do you have any cuffs on you? Like, oh my god. Don't, 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 yeah. You gotta listen to my partner there. He's telling oh you to do something, please. Okay? okay? What do you want? I didn't What's do anything. What's he for? What do you want? What do you want? What do you need to do for? for a cab okay. and he wants to uh, walk. Keep your head yeah, on your back. Where's my wallet? You said you had no money and I just checked it. There's no money in there, sir. Okay? Oh my God. Where do you live? Oh my God, don't think God. What the hell are you doing? Lisa, <laughs> can you go get Lisa? Where do you live, sir? Can you go get Lisa? Can, before, oh, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arresting arrest. But can you go get Lisa? Just relax here. You're Lisa's gone home for the night. Can you go get someone as an avalanche? She doesn't live here, sir. She's okay. the manager of the okay. bar. She okay. doesn't live oh, here. She's I gone listen. home. Listen. Just like you should have gone hey. home about hey. half hour. Hey, listen. Oh, listen. Listen to me. I'll do whatever you want. I'll do whatever you want. I know, because you're going to cooperate. You got my this. keys? You got my keys? You got my keys? <laughs> you got my keys? keys? OK, good. Where's your car? I'm walking home. Where's your car, though? I don't have a car, I'm walking. <laughs> okay. No, but can you, do, can you do me one favor? I didn't do anything. Oh my God. Can I just say something? I'll take you out. No, hey, can I just say something? Can I say something since I'm on TV? Mm -hmm. All right. If you're listening to me, Lisa, at Avalon Bar, I come here a lot. I swear to God, I didn't do nothing. They're arresting me for nothing. Okay. Because I have no right home. Hop on in. I have, you have no right home. And I hope that's on CPC. I did okay, nothing. Watch your head when you go in, sir. Hop yes, in. sir. Just watch your head. I did nothing. I did absolutely watch nothing. Your head. I never got arrested for nothing. Do you have a... Why am I getting arrested? To be from being drunk in a public place. Okay? This is arrested for an alcohol place. I did absolutely nothing. Have you been arrested before? No. Okay. To serve and protect, we'll be right back. We're now here at the building search aspect of the police dog trial. What we're required to do here as handlers and, and dogs is to search a, a building for two suspects. In this case, two suspects have been seen coming into the building and are hiding. And it's going to be up to the dogs and the handler as a team to find these, uh, these uh, suspects that have uh, committed a break-in. And uh, Constable McInnes and Prince are going to be our first dogs here. 
The Gord uh, scenario for today's building search is uh, an alarm premise. The front door has been kicked in. The area has been secured on the outside by containment units. They're not sure if there's anybody still in the building or not, but it's definitely been a break in. Okay? Um, I'll act as your cover team for you. Search it like you would on the street. Okay? And anytime you're ready to start, go ahead. Okay. So you're my cover officer. I'd just like you to back me up, watch my back, okay. do a secondary uh, clearing as I clear the rooms with the dog. Okay. Thank you for is given to give the suspects an opportunity to come out of the building on their own. Uh, they've chosen not to in this scenario, and the dog and handler are moving down the hallway in the safest manner as possible to ensure that nobody comes up behind them. We have Prince searching on his own. He's done this to give him a free reign. He's searching room by room. And it's up to Constable McGuinness to be satisfied that with each area he passes, uh, the Here. suspects are not hiding. Prince is now There's a guy. heading in. He does get some get encouragement. An indication. Okay, I got you covered. Back. The dog has indicated to the handler that someone could be in this area, and he's going to be Please watching. Come. You can see the dog checking the corners to see if he can find anybody. Constable McKinnis is. Moving with his dog. I don't go in here. Damn, please show your hands now. Show your hands now. Good boy. Here. Good boy. That's a boy. You want to take that guy from me? I got this guy here. One. The first suspect's been taken into custody and. Prince now is going to commence in just a moment once he's been placed in the police car. He's going to commence the search. As you can tell, this is a very large building, and all we know is that there's been a break in. We don't know how many people are involved. So, this is where the dog and handler must work as a team to continue their search to see if there is anyone else. They've searched this area behind them uh, in the original. I want to clear this In the original here. suite, so he's going to continue using his cover, moving as safely as possible for the handler. He's now checking doors that are closed. His dogs will indicate. They should indicate on their own where the suspect could be hiding. Dogs will find where people are moving and are hiding and attempt to get into uh, their hiding spot. But we look for the handler's safety as well as the intensity of the dog. See the indication there. Good boy, what do you got there? Hey, boys, are in that closet? Come on out. Show yourself now. Show me your hands. And finally, the policeman will take him into custody, and in the trial, this is where the scenario would be told it's over. Uh, it was Good a fine boy. job by. Cosmo McKinnis and Prince, they had no troubles locating the suspects. The building search that we just did here um, simulates uh, the actual dog in, a, in an in-service situation, searching a premise such as a high school or an office building where um, you may have a suspect hiding inside and using the dog's scenting ability to locate that suspect. Um, the, the, the joy of using a dog in that situation is um, officer safety. Um, what I like to do is send the dog out, let him do the search of the room, and if he gives me an indication, then I can take cover, call the suspect out if he's hidden, or in the scenario we had there, the suspect was in view of the dog. The dog contacted the suspect and held on till I commanded the suspect to uh, show his hands. And the dog then acts as my second partner and is able to uh, keep my safety in, in, um, in, in mind so that I don't have to go up and take care of that suspect Well. Uh, well, uh, he may be armed or going to physically assault me in the process. So the dog is a benefit to that. Uh, Prince did exactly what I wanted him there. He went and got the suspect that was my immediate threat, and then he went and got the one that was hiding. So it worked out in, in the right chronological order.
You're gonna feel sorry to take me away, man. You take I've been me told away, you're gonna feel sorry before you take me away. Don't threaten me. You take me away, who, for what for? Are you threatening me now? Yeah, what are you going to, for what for? Now are you threatening me, sir? No. You said you're going to take me away. Why? It's okay, bro. Because you're starting to cause a disturbance here on the scene. You white people, are the only bugglers that are out here. The upper suite complaining about the basement suite. You will look at herself. We're going to fight, we're going to fight. We'll teach you, kill each other, we'll kill each other. You guys be happy. Good idiots, dead idiots. Remember that. You know, some guy says that he heard the kids. You have no search warrant or nothing. You just produced this for me. Well, because you walked in. Right now, you're under arrest for possession of marijuana, OK? Do you have any ID on you? In your van? It's outside, I take it? 